This is the new Harvest wiring harness for the Sanko 2 heat pump. It enables a quick connection between the Cat5 cable and the various sensors we need to run and control the Sanko 2 heat pump. We're going to open up the side panel of the Sanko 2 heat pump in order to access the signal box. And we're going to bring across our protected Cat5 cable and hook it in so that it is kept securely fastened to the heat pump. We're going to first plug in the wiring harness to the Cat5 cable. Then we're going to attach the two spade connectors to the leftmost screws on the terminal block. Next, we're going to connect up the utility dry connect. We need to first remove the connector that is present, and you do that by pressing in on the tab and pulling the connector out, and then you can slide our connector directly in. We want to next connect up the CT, but in order to protect the wires, we need to run them within the Sanko heat pump itself. So we're going to have to disconnect them for a moment in order to thread them through the inside of the Sanko. The CT lives in the power box, so we're going to open that up, as well as the top of the Sanko heat pump, so we can see the inside easily. With this done, we can now thread the wires through the opening at the top of the power box and into the inside of the Sanko heat pump. The CT is a split design CT, so you can open it up and then easily get it around either the L1 or L2 power lines. In order to thread the wire from the inside of the Sanko 2 heat pump down into the signal box, it is easiest to remove the little controller, in which case you have a clear shot straight down into the signal box. And then you can hook the CT back up to the wiring harness. It's remembering that the black wire is on pin number eight and the white wire is connected to pin number seven. Finally, we're going to hook up the outdoor thermistor. It is best to wrap this around the back side of the plumbing. And then right below where the plumbing connects, there are two screws and potentially a plate. You can undo those two screws, remove the plate, and then use those two screws to attach the plate with the outdoor thermistor attached. At this point, all the wiring is done, and we simply need to put the cover back in place. If there is the possibility of snow where the Sanko 2 outdoor unit is installed, it is advisable to mount the outdoor thermistor at a much higher point, and we have designed it such that it can be mounted right above the power box 